Good day and welcome to XCOM The Long War Mod with me, Go Fetish Bob. We're back in. We have no mission. And uh, it's time to spin on. Lots of things happening. Uh, gene mods, side training. In fact, we'll wait for these two things to come in and we may chuck a couple more guys in, depending on uh, how long other people are out injured for. Okay, Black Monk. You're going to go back in. I think we've got plenty enough medics. So, Scilabs. Um, Black Monk. There you go. Um, don't know what I was trying to do with you. Neural feedback. Or oh, mind fray. Your shots aren't that good. We're going mind fray. I can't remember what we were doing for you. Uh, but doing something is better than nothing. Sorry they're not doing any missions, Black Monk. But it's important we improve. And avionics is complete. What did avionics do? I'm pretty sure that was a was an important one. Is it right at the bottom? Avionics. Yeah, more accurate. Fantastic. That is well needed. Speaking of which, aircrafts. Yeah. We've got Avalanche mission Missiles on you. Have we got anything else? No. Let's rename you so you can start earning kills. And I think we should be building things. And Raven 2, rename Birdman Du Bois. Du Bois. And Slapshot Bow. Bow. And uh, are we... Yeah, we've got the laser cannons en route. Kite and plating coming. Laser pistol. Um, is it engineering that we go to the barracks? Research? Gene lab. Okay, we've got two spots available for people for gene mods. What are we doing for soldiers? A lot of fatigue people. I think we might hold off, wait for... Our next mission. Oh, and we've earned another soldier. So if you want to be that soldier, let me know. In actual fact, maybe we could put someone in there for genetic purposes. I'll wait until I have a little think off screen for that. Um, as I say, we've had a few injuries. Like one last time, look at the soldiers because we've got our. Um, Foundry project done, isn't it? So three hours for Foster Josh, that's going to be fantastic. Is that Foundry project done? Must be. Anyway, let's go. Lady Bob is successful. Excellent. Means we need someone else from... Um, Grim Reapers, Pernatube and Fan Primo are not far off getting promotions, so we're going to go to Tasso. Tasso, yeah, you're a good shot, so let's give neural feedback. Why not? Well, we could wait for the other one, but. Let's just do it. Let's go forward. Carry on. Uh, Martin Presnick, you're going back in. Go on. We need you. Mind free. You shoot. Why not? Eight days. That's cool. Okay, medium raider. Raiders. It's low. Meaning it's scouting. And we should try and kill this. 
especially with the amount of available guys. Let's not send out my avalanche missiles unless we've got it down to kill range. Let's do some damage with Mr. Delgado. Let's go defensively. And we want to take minimal damage. Bangs out. Closing on side. Ow. Disengaging. Okay, half health. You know what? We're actually going to send out our avalanche missiles. See what kind of damage this uh, brings. See what it's like. We are almost ready to outfit them with new Engaging weapons. Oh, wow. We lost the bubble. Okay, that's... That's not good. Rate of fire is too slow. Contact and... Oh, 14 days, that was an expensive mistake. Uh, let's go up with Mr. Owen. Need to make sure you hit him, because we're taking injuries we're in galore. Pursuit. Come on, Nearing just do it. Perfect. Crew at the crash site. Excellent. Let's, let's load it out and get it sent out. Okay, uh, I'll come back to you once the team's done. Okay, so we're back in. Uh, we've got a new toy to play with. Uh, Perna Tube. Uh, who's close to a promotion, as are several of our soldiers, is uh, rocking our chitin plating. Or chitin plating. Uh, for the uh, first time. So an extra 10 armor. So that's good. Uh, as I say, close to promotion, many of our soldiers are. Pretty normal layout for our team. Uh, Freedom Star, once again close to a promotion, doesn't need to get a kill and will get promoted. Um, going out there with the Alloy Strike Rifle uh, because of the terrain, which is heavy vegetation, so I'm assuming that you're not going to be able to sit in one place, you'll have to move around to get shots as all the trees will block a lot of shots. Fan of Primo, once again close to promotion. Um, not great movements, so going out with the stutter gun, arc throw with the repair means we've got three chances to capture. Remember I spam the arc throw, uh, so yeah, there we are. It's got pistol range as the arc throw. Um, Lady Bob just got the psi ability of Mind Free, uh, also got Ranger, so uh, built for alloy cannon and laser pistol, extra damage, sort of secondary assault, uh, and to pull those overwatches, and we've gone for the respiratory to keep the weight down to get the movement up. Um, this team now runs out of people who can move quickly, BB guns, uh, lowest rank soldier, 10 movements, Poor aim. Uh, you're just there for the suppression, hold the targets in, and you know we might be dashing you more than anything. And uh, maybe you can get a promotion. Who knows? Um, Iggy Boom. Uh, decent, very decent uh, infantry. Usual loadout and USMC tanker, which I didn't mess up for once. Uh, carbine, so more punch and power than I usually put on my uh, rocketeers. That's because uh, the Stutter gun had to go elsewhere. Uh, the usual setup there. Okay, let's launch this mission. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. Let's go. Love to get in the get ready capture to here. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Yeah, not the strongest team, um, but if we get a number of promotions here, uh, it'll all be good. I might make a note of which of my soldiers get a kill to pass it around. Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. 
Okay, I've just marked off Freedom Star, as we do not need Freedom Star to get a kill. And we're in the back corner. Yeah, we're in the back corner. I always get confused which map is which. Um, well, let's just head straight forward and see what happens. Do I want you? Movement's awful. Get. Uh, I doubt anyone's been built with battle scanners. No. Okay. Rockets to the front. Okay. I don't think we're going to push this way, so might as well put our medic on the outside. Look at that health. That's dangerously low. Low rank. Found a primo. Leave you somewhere at the back. Roger, Dodger. Uh, let's scout forward with Lady Bob. What was that? Ah, there's the ship. So we might just, just go for the ship and uh, okay. see what happens, really. One of the parts of the game that I'm very poor on is knowing the maps. Uh, the crashed UFO maps or the landed UFO maps. I'm not so good at the smaller ones. Headed there now. Itchy boom. Time to motor. Okay, we are pushing this way, so we're going to move never... across this way. Moving out. And. Kind of dangerous, but uh, we're going to move you here. Now, the plus side with Freedom Star is that they have got precision shots, which means that we can fire one shot at range. And there are mutons. Our muton friends are here. No one else is going to be able to get up to this point, so you might as well take it. Not going to get flanked, so keep on pushing. Let's see if we can get any uh, meld. If you're there, then this should be clear. Solid copy, Commander. Cool. Okay. Doesn't look like we're gonna open up any pots. Okay. Rockets. You know, I'm being bold and ballsy. Yes, sir. Because entertainment. It wasn't that bold or ballsy. I think our next move is that one, but not this turn. Uh, it might just test out just a little bit. Will do. And if we know that's clear, then we can move here and probably hit that tree next turn. Got it covered. Uh, steady weapon. Oh, watch. What's making that noise? It's a muton. We've only heard the muton so far. Um, let's kind of move inside if we can. He says move inside and he keeps on pushing forward. That corner cover's nice for us to move inside. Okay. Now, moving here, when we hear mutons over here, could be dangerous, but how would they flank you if they were here? 
We can always run away afterwards. Okay. Unless we get flanked. And they're on overwatch. Okay, that didn't happen. Okay. Just thinking, what's the safest way to do this? Maybe try and take this high ground? Or just ignore the outside of the ship and just go straight forward? I'm on it, Commander. I think we're going to ignore the outside. Wait for them to come into us once we've taken the ship. I think where our rockets will be best used as well. I mean, there's a lot of map over here, so if we move here, that could be useful. The sniper's falling well behind now, so we're going to take the sniper up to the corner cover. Pull you across this way. Glad I didn't flank myself with that move. What are you doing? Kind of want to. Moving to position. Just stay prepped, just in case we get engagement on this side. Gotcha. We're gonna watch. I don't know why, but I feel like a steady weapon is gonna be useful here. Still only heard the mutons, and we're still just pushing this way. Okay, that was the first time that I felt like I could have unlocked something. Okay, so we found some mel. That was kind of the reason for the hard push, and you know. We could go for that with Perna. Who's going to back him up? You are. Heading out. Okay, I really don't want to unlock anything this side now because and I've got two soldiers that will be flanked, so our movement should be diagonally this way. I think this... It's fine, okay. Heading for that location. I don't think I'm going to unlock anything this turn um, there now. in this kind of direction. So we just reorientate. Medic somewhere near the back. Sniper. Moving. Steadied weapon. Hmm. I'm on it, Commander. Get the full cover. And another steady weapon. And has everyone else moved? Yes. There's something out there. I just want to get that meld. Maybe just ex attack those outsiders. Um, what are we doing here? Okay, that's nice. There's a small chance of a pod there, but I haven't heard anything so far. So I'm going to take a risk and move here. Okay, so we're going to get that meld because it's oh, we've got two turns on it. We can approach that. That means we need to sort of build up a sort of defensive line across here, just in case. Mutons that are probably here come in on us. So we kind of got that. We want to be close enough uh, if we do get anything inside this area that we can support it. Basically, everyone just kind of mushing along as we have been. And That's affirmative. Moving. I 
kind of don't want to go. I'm, I want to go here, but I don't want to go here. On my way. Okay, that was the hardest push I could do relatively safely. That's too forward for my medic. I'm on the move. Okay, has everyone had one turn? Yeah. Okay. Hello, squirrels. Okay. Meld. Do we get there? We do not get there. Okay, I'm going to go here because I don't want to step out if I go here. Okay, next turn we can get that meld. Um, aye, aye, Commander. We've got multiple contacts. Okay. Okay, four mutons and two elites. Four mutons, two elites. I forgot about elites. Elites scare me. Just uh, as a matter of uh, thought, 64, that's not bad. Okay, I remember that elites scare me a lot. Okay, so we can pull back a bit. Who can see them? You can. You can only see that guy. Sniper can see two, one, only one in range. So what we could do, we could put smoke on these guys, get my rocket across. Nice rocket just to start off, get rid of any cover they could use. And move on from there. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be the, the area of engagement, so let's hope that this rocket's good. Okay. That rocket is good enough. I'm, al I'm almost tempted to go and get it now, or move in place to get it, so I can be ready to come back out. But uh, if there is a pod here or here, I really don't want to have multiple pods uh, at the moment, especially with guys side on. Okay, Sniper now has one shot. So let's take this shot. Okay, so that's two elites. And three normal mutons. Okay, and they've got to move to these kind of positions. You fired your rocket, so smoke has to go down. I like this cover, they're not too far away, so if they do approach you on Sentinel, would be good. You'll stay in there. You've only got two smokes. Is an early smoke the right option? I think it is. Okay, right. Then again, grenades could happen. I'm just gonna have to hope they don't. Wanted this position to throw a chem next turn, but you know this is fine as well. Let's just overwatch from there. No, you can no longer see anyone. You're in as good as cover as I can give you, and I want to hit people on Overwatch if they come forward. And you are in a bad place. So. Move you to full cover right ahead. 
move you right there, that's grenade territory, or we could just move you back. Yes, Commander. So I'm going to move you back. And you can just watch. Okay. So we've got to move forward to get him, and then that means our overwatchers can work. Okay, that's a great start. He's flanked himself, so we've got to move again. We can still see him, though. A blood call. Okay, so... He can be seen. So... If we move this way... Just thinking, what's our range on this cam? Or we can move a little bit further up. The two tiles... Just think about so by moving two tiles. I could. He's got sapper, hasn't he? I could throw an alien grenade to hopefully take out that tree. Then you're in a dangerous position. And then, worst case scenario, the tree is half cover. We can use you to suppress him. And then with the holotypes and have a decent shot. On my way. Okay. Take out the tree. Hoorah! Yeah, muton elite scare me. The tree's gone. Just a cover I did not want them to have. Um, fifty-one percent. I think we just take that and try and take him out with someone else. Now the hollow targeting is up. We're not going to use the precision shots. We are going to take this. Hopefully, the crit chance will work for us. I'll get him next time. Okay. That did not work. You don't have a shot on him. We could fire another rocket back there. These guys are likely to be on Overwatch. Is there any other position you can move to to get a shot on this guy? Not so much. Hmm. Should have started off by getting this as well. An old 17. And we can move here. And then we may be able to see this guy. You're in full cover and you're resilient. Cool. Is this half is this full cover? I don't think so. Okay. Your shot won't kill him from that range anyway. I think we just wait for them to come on to us. Still. You've got your shots, 37's not good enough. You can move to this full cover and maybe take a shot at the Muton. You do not have the shot. So we can hunker you. See one and two. Okay. Mind fray on this guy. 50-50. That's good to know. We're gonna hunk you down. We're gonna hunker you down. And that sniper shot missing was quite painful for me. Nose 247. Further damage on our elite. 
who's now running scared. That we can still see them. Oof. What are you doing? Half cover. Don't do it. Oh, baby, that was a dangerous place to leave them in. Hit you, boom. Come on, guys and gals. We need these kills. What are you doing? Cover and fire. Damn it. Who are you aiming at? Hey, a help? Ah, suppressing the sniper. Okay, and another muton. A blood call. Okay, well we know what our engagement is. We've got a sneaky guy that can come around and maybe... These are all kind of guarded from the flank from him, but uh, he can still come into action. Uh, we're going to do that in the second part of this mission uh, next time. Uh, but until then, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.